طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السفير محمد سعيد حسن مدير إدارة السلام والشؤون الإنسانية في وزارة الخارجية في البداية نحمد الله على عودة هؤلاء الأسرة لأسرهم وأهليهم وديارهم ونود أن نود أن نشير إلى أن هذه العملية تمت بتوجيه ورعاية من السيد رئيس جمهورية أوغندا رئيس يوري موسوفيني والسيد رئيس الجمهورية مشير عمر حسن أحمد البشير وبمتابعة مع من المؤسسات المعنية هنا في الدفاع والداخلية والخارجية وجهاز الأمن والمخابرات والشرطة والدفاع الشعبي ومجموعة سائحون الوطنية هذه العملية تمت بتعاون وتنسيق بين الحكومة الأوغندية وأشرف على هذه العملية من جانب الحكومة الأوغندية السيد السفير جوزيف أوتويت مدير جهاز الأمن الخارجي في جمهورية أوغندا ومعه فريقه العامل العملية من الجهات التي ساعدت في إتمام العملية التعاون الذي وجدته من حكومة جنوب السودان بالسماح بعبور وسائل نقل هؤلاء هذه المجموعة دور اللجنة الدولية للصليب الأحمر دور أساسي في تقديم المساعدات الإنسانية واللوجستية وعبر مكتبها في أوغندا ومكتبها في الخرطوم وأود أن أشكر كل الجهات التي ساهمت في إنجاح هذه العملية والفريق الفني للمؤسسات السودانية المتابعة لهذه العملية وفي كلمات في كلمات قصيرة أود أن أقدم لكم أولا السيد السفير جون أوتويت ومن بعده السيد جيرارد مدير مكتب اللجنة الدولية للصليب الأحمر في الخرطوم بليز Yeah, uh, I greet you all. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, especially accompanying your fellow citizens who have just been released from captivity. Uh, we would like to thank President Al Basir for, for trusting us to help Sudan in bringing back your people. We thank President Basir very much. It was out of trust that he allowed us to work together with the government of Sudan to find your people who had been captured by the rebels. We found them. We brought them back today. At this point, I would like to mention uh, a few names of those we worked with closely in achieving this goal. Uh, we worked closely with uh, Mr. Tariq Said Ali, who has been in Uganda about seven times. 
uh, the last few weeks, he spent it in Kampala, in Uganda, trying his best to make sure that he comes back with his people. And indeed, tonight, he has come back with the people. Uh, together with him, we had uh, uh, Ambassador Mohammed Said Hassan. We had uh, Brigadier Dafala Amin. We had Captain Al Aladin Ibrahim. We had G Mr. Gaffa Banaga, with whom we worked very closely to rescue your people, to bring back your people. And they were working on behalf of uh, the government of Sudan. Uh, Nedua, who has always been with us in Uganda, who is like a special angel to Uganda, who has brought uh, Sudan and Uganda closer than ever before, has always been part of any efforts to bring solidarity, to bring cooperation, to end the war which is going on in uh, Nova Mountains, in uh, Blue Nile, and in Darfur. So we thank Nedua very much as well. We also thank uh, President uh, Salva Kiir of South Sudan who allowed us to operate from within South Sudan to release your people. Without uh, the permission and clearance from President Salva Kiir of South Sudan, it would not have been possible to uh, reach out to your people. Uh, most of all, I would like to thank our president, my president of Uganda, His Excellency, President Yoweri Museveni, who from the word go, when we ask for his permission and for his approval, he did everything. He worked around the clock. He supported us to make sure we reach out to your people, to make sure we rescue your people and we bring them back safe. And we also have Red Cross, the International Committee of the Red Cross, which provided uh, the logistical and humanitarian support within the last uh, about nine days when this operation was coming to an end. Uh, without Red Cross, it would have been much more difficult than it has been now. Red Cross did a lot, and you must, or we must all thank uh, the Red Cross. But at the same time, I would like to thank those rebels who released your people alive. We are in the process of talking to them as brothers, uh, to you and to them. We are trying to find a peaceful solution to end this conflict in Sudan. Uh, with these few words, I just want to welcome your people back home, those who have been away for quite long, for some years. Some have been away for six years, five years, three years. I'm sure they're all happy to be back home. I thank you very, very much. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, good evening. Forgive me to deliver my remarks in English. In the name of the International Committee of the Red Cross, the ICRC, first of all, I would like to warmly welcome back the 125 Sudanese men released from custody from SPLM North, and I'm so, so pleased that they will be reuniting with their families very soon now. Allow me to especially thank the authorities in Sudan, South Sudan and Uganda, and the SPLM North for their close and efficient cooperation in the preparation and unfolding of this successful handover. Rightly, this operation was codenamed Goodwill. The ICRC was not involved directly in the negotiations leading to the release. They were brokered by the government of Uganda, but our assistance was sought by all the parties involved as a respected and trusted neutral and independent intermediary in order to carry out the practical aspects of this complex process and to ensure its strictly humanitarian character. Two things made this operation particularly special. First of all, 
a sizable group of 125 men, mainly military personnel, but also some civilians, will be going home to their wives, children, parents, other family members and friends after years of captivity, which makes it one of the largest operations of this kind carried out in Sudan. Secondly, this was a cross-borders operation as the men were transferred from South Kordofan and Blue Nile into South Sudan and then airlifted to Sudan via Entebbe in Uganda, where they spent a couple of days under the good care of the authorities of Uganda. As you know, the mandate of the International Committee of the Red Cross is to assist and to protect the victims of armed conflict worldwide in application of the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and their additional protocols to which Sudan is party. And a central part of our mandate is our unique and recognized role of neutral intermediary which allows us to, capi to carry out specific tasks with the trust and confidence of the parties involved that our action will be purely humanitarian and devoid of any political considerations. Our role in the handover operation has therefore been and to ensure that the 125 men would reach their final destination, Khartoum, to be formally transferred to the Sudanese authorities and their families. To that purpose, ICRC teams from three ICRC delegations in the regions, namely in South Sudan, Uganda, and Sudan, accompanied the men during their whole journey, and prior to their departure, they were interviewed by the, our staff in order to ensure that they were being transferred upon also their free will. ICRC medical staff carried out medical checkups and confirmed that the men were fit to travel, and they were also given some personal assistance efforts. In conclusion, we are very pleased that 125 Sudanese families will be together again, and we will continue to support the reunification of families separated as a result of conflict. On this occasion, the ICRC would like to reassure all authorities and parties that it stands ready to address any other humanitarian challenges brought about by situations of armed conflict. Welcome back to your homeland. Welcome to your families who have been longing for this moment for a very long time. Shukran Shazilan. تابعنا الآن المؤتمر الصحفي الذي عقده سيدة الممثلة اللجنة الدولية للصليب الأحمر وأيضا الناطق الرسمي باسم اللجنة اليوغندية التي تحدثت مباشرة الآن عن إطلاق 125 أسير سوداني أطلق صراحهم الآن من داخل أطلق صراحهم من كاودا مباشرة إلى كمبالا ثم عادوا إلى 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 مطار الخرطوم الدولي الآن بعض القوات الأمنية الآن تحدثت عن أن هنالك باقي للمؤتمر الصحفي ربما يكون الآن مباشرة أو بعد دقائق من الآن في مطار في نادي الضباط العسكري ربما بعد دقائق من الآن لا نعلم من الذي سيتحدث وما هي المعلومات إذن كما تابعتم مشاهدينا الكرام نحن الآن نشكل نقل حي من داخل مطار الخرطوم الدولي مباشرة ننتقل الآن إلى سعادة العميد إذا مشاهدينا الكرام الآن من داخل مطار الخرطوم الدولي ننتقل مباشرة إلى استوديو حال البلد والأستاذ الطاهر حسن التوم ربما هذا الموضوع أيضا يشكل حيز الآن في حال البلد إليك الأستاذ الطاهر حسن التوم مباشرة من مطار الخرطوم من الصالة الرئاسية